Welcome back to the channel everybody. Welcome back to the vlog. I want to thank you so much for hitting that play button. Spending a few moments with me today as we navigate some of these shippers and receivers that um, let's just say their dock area is less than uh, <laughs> less than dry. That's that fairing. Y'all guys didn't catch my last video. We got a fairing that's broke back here and uh, I'm going to try to shoot some some tappers or something in it to hold it until they can get it fixed because that flapping just drives me nuts. But yeah, we're out here doing pickups and drops and today's just kind of a mix of everything. I'm running the west side which doesn't have the most friendly uh, shippers and receivers when it comes to cleaning their parking lots. Jeez. <laughs> oh, Ice. Ice baby. Da -da -dun -da -dun -dun -dun. Uh, you gotta laugh at days like this. You know what? When you have a day where you're dealing with, you know, some you can go to some and they, you know, they've got it cleared off, or some of it cleared off, and you go to others they haven't touched it at all. They just their their mindset is, hey, God brought it, got to take it away. <laughs> but it's not real conducive. Like, wow, wish ours was like that, or most places were like that. But uh, this definitely makes you. Whenever all this is gone, P and D be a breeze. But this has made me know that, hey, it doesn't matter what it is that you're doing. If you're a PND driver, you deal with the snow and the ice. When it's done, hey, give me 20 day, give me 20 pickup and drops a day. No problem. <laughs> Delivery entry. Well, that's always that's nice to have a sign. Gates coming in. See if it will get close enough. It will go back. All right, got through checking in with the guard there. He said, uh, "Gotta get your temperature. Need you to fill out this paperwork. You haven't been overseas in the last 14 days, and uh, you know you haven't been uh, tested for COVID." <laughs> and he said. Uh, you ever been here? I said, no, sir. He said, okay. It's easy to get lost here, so just follow that road right there. <laughs> he said, it's all the way around this place. The dock is. So they like some type of containers here or something. Big old containers. Wouldn't want to slide into one of them bad boys. It's amazing the things that we make. I think these are wind turbines. You know those big wind turbine things that Texas is having all them problems with? <laughs> Not having any power. He said there was a guard shack looking place. I think it's gonna be over here. I think that's what those are, the base of them. When the, you know how they build them. Uh, is that the only? Yeah, that looks like he's the. Only, that's the only place. So I gotta wait on him. I only got one dock. So get back and let Mister Yella. Just yell and get his stuff off and then we'll go. Well, looks like the fun one.
I didn't even film that inside there. I mean, that was like, I wasn't there two minutes. You know, I was, I, I had to wait for about 25 minutes to get in the door. But, yeah, it was two, it was just, he goes, is that all there is? I said, yeah, just one box. All right, we're coming up on our next one here. I'm on East Jasper Street. Melton Flatbed. Must be where they put their trucks they're going to sell. It'd be nice if they had a street sign out here. What, what road you was even on. Nah, you don't need any street signs. Eight seventy four, Sweet B. That's it. But how in the heck? Can't make that turn in a truck. And down there looks like they got snow all packed up in front of it. Can't go that way. They got what in the world is up with all this? <laughs> Can't get into there. Man, whoever, whoever thought this whole thing out, did wasn't thinking at all. <laughs> That's your truck entrance, and look at what you got. You got a car parked right there. You got this big old mount. I mean, they haven't, they haven't cleared out anything for no trucks. All right, I'm going to run in here and Keystone Aftermarket. This is the place, but I'll find out which one of these doors. Maybe I'll hit that door five. I don't know. I get in there, and the guy goes, yeah, I was watching on my cameras. He goes, we're, we're very upset with our, the company that does our snow because we told him, why did you pack all that in front of our truck entrance? Um, so he said they're supposed to be here any time to clear that out so that trucks can, you know, get in there. <laughs> I said, yeah. He goes, yeah, I've got five other trucks going to show up. He goes, you're, you're the first one. He goes, we had another truck, a box truck right here. He goes, use door to five. He said, because uh, at least there's a pathway to it.
Cheers. That guy apologized like four times. <laughs> He's like, he was like, man, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. He was, I had to call my neighbors down here and tell them, hey, you may start having some trucks come through your area. I'm sorry, I've got some. See, look at this. They put all this freaking snow right in front of the truck entrance. Man, how much sense does that make? Uh, try to get out here far enough. I don't hit that fence. I got to this one right here and I told that old boy, I said, yeah, I can't back into that. I said, uh, not with this single axle. I mean, that stuff is nothing but sludge. I said, I'll get in that and get stuck. Can't get moving again. And he says, that's not a problem. He goes, you're, you're the third uh, LTL company to come by here that we've had to reschedule for next week. <laughs> so he's going to get it on Monday. All right, so... We're on our way to the next one. We got another truck up here just stopped. <laughs> we, got, we got a whole party in here, man. We got a whole party going on in here. Sorry, dude. Thanks for waiting patiently. Please, this ain't a really good sign, but uh, you know, who knows? <laughs> no, nah, they haven't. They haven't done anything. I don't think. Yeah, they haven't. What is, is it packed down? If it's packed down, I'll go on it. Looks like it might be packed down. They got cars out there driving on it. There's a lot of it on my, a lot of it, they got a lot of stuff on my truck, so it's packed down. Doc should be right on the other side of this. I just hope that there's enough room for me to get forward, and it looks like there is. I'll be using the shovel again, you never know. <laughs> ah, it looks like we, we can be all right right here.
Take her slow. Take her slow. I'm about to start pickups. I got eight pickups to do. Don't know if we're going to get to all of them. It's already 2 o'clock. I didn't leave the terminal until almost 11. And, you know, it's just... It is what it is. Some days you just ain't going to be able to get everything. And I don't even think our line haul is even running tonight anyway. So it really doesn't matter. But um, I think that's going to end this video. I want to thank each and every one of you for stopping by the channel. I appreciate it so much. Uh, the support has been amazing you guys have just uh, with the comments and liking and disliking or whatever it is you want to do to the videos is totally fine uh, but the channel has grown by all, over a thousand subscribers in two weeks um, and that's because of you guys so I want uh, just to say a huge thank you thank you thank you and yes I know sometimes I can make you dizzy because I'm constantly <laughs> turning my head and I'm so sorry but uh, safety is first until I see you at the next video, I hope each and every one of you have a blessed rest of your day. And always remember this, life is truly short. Make sure you make it sweet. See you guys at the next one. Peace.